Hello, I'm Andrew Gillen. I'm a digital cinematographer student at Full Sail University, and today we are going to be talking about the history of the comedy film genre. During the silent film era, filmmakers had to rely heavily on slapstick humor in order to connect with their audiences. This involved practical jokes, collisions, and a lot of chase scenes. The first recorded silent comedy film was Watering in the Gardener by the Lumiere Brothers in 1895. It was a simple skit lasting less than a minute about a gardener watering his plants when a young, mischievous boy decides to play a practical joke on the gardener. But one of the biggest icons to revolutionize the comedy genre during this era was Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin soon became a household name and internationally famous when he wrote, directed, and starred in short films as his iconic character, The Tramp. The Coming Age of Sound The 1930s through the 50s ushered in the golden age of Hollywood, and with it, the age of sound. With silent films growing less popular and talking films growing more popular, filmmakers had to use a new style of comedy that would include dialogue. Verbal humor was now on the scene. Puns, innuendos, and parodies were the new comedy, and one of the first directors to really take advantage of verbal humor was W.C. Fields in My Little Chickadee. I'm doing my best to hide it. Also, we had the screwball comedy film, which was a very prominent subgenre of romantic comedy films from the mid-30s to the mid-40s. The word screwball stood for lunacy, craziness, eccentricity, ridiculousness, and erratic behavior. And now we enter the 60s. The 60s ushered in a decade of tremendous social changes, civil rights, and transitional cultural values. In the 60s and 70s, we saw black comedy, a style of film where topics and events that are usually treated seriously are treated in a satirical manner. One of the most classic and well-known black comedy films of the 60s was Stanley Kubrick's Cold War classic, Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying, and love the bomb. You can't fight in here. This is the war room. And then we had parodies and spoofs of the 70s through the 80s. Directors like Woody Allen and Mel Brooks really set the stage for satirical humor in the 70s and 80s with films like Blazing Saddles and Annie Hall. But it was writer and director team David and Jerry Zucker and Jim Abrahams who really brought in the, the parodies and spoofs with films like Airplane, Top Secret, The Naked Gun, Hot Shots, and Hot Shots Part 2. And now we enter the 90s. The 90s saw a reappearance of the romantic comedy. Films like Pretty Woman, Groundhog Day, Sleepless in Seattle, and You've Got Mail, just to name a few. These comedies were very lighthearted and revolved around the boy meets girl, loses girl, only to get her back plot. Welcome to the 21st century. The 21st century brought with it lowbrow, raunchy, gross-out comedies. Teen comedies designed for both teens and adults took a turn towards humiliation, bodily functions, and toilet humor, with such films as There's Something About Mary, starring Ben Stiller and Cameron Diaz, and the teen comedy hit American Pie. This concludes the history of comedy. I'm Andrew Gillen. And I hope you enjoyed your time. Thank you.